Hello. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. I'm just uh, waiting a moment for our link to load. Here we are, here we are. Let me share the video with the people in our group. So I'm here for our weekly live, our weekly live on Facebook and on Instagram. There we go. And today, stay in 2022. So today we're going to speak about making teaching yoga a sustainable career, a sustainable career opportunity for you in 2022. In our Facebook group, I posted earlier to ask if you would like to know more about um, creating courses or about building visibility when you are creating a course. And I did a little bit of a reflection on this. So let me just go live on uh, Instagram as well. Give everyone a moment to join us. And if you're here with me on Facebook, let me know because I can't see who is actually here and it would be really, really nice to see. I've got people watching. So let me know who you are and what your goals are for 2022. So our community, the people in our community are mostly yoga teachers. And most of these yoga teachers are, in, are international they speak English as a second language or as a foreign language. Maybe it's the third or the fourth language. It could, it could also be. Um, and these people want to learn how to teach yoga in English and become effective at it, but also in a way so that they can create um, accessible and effective and inclusive yoga classes. For this, we need techniques and we need studying. We need a lot of practice. There's a lot of teaching practice that comes with it. But that all speaks about how to learn uh, to teach yoga effectively. And today I want to speak a little bit about your career, your career as a yoga teacher, because it's the 1st of December. And this is a time in which we do a lot of reflection in which we do a lot of um, looking back at the goals that we had at the start of the year and maybe already set new goals for the year to come. And all over the world where um, preparing for the year to end is also, also a time in which we express our gratitude um, think of the little things and the big things that have happened, maybe celebrate our successes, maybe let go of the things that didn't go so well or the things that don't no longer serve us. And I'm in this process as well. So, like I said, it's a time, it's a period for reflection. It's a time to finish our projects, but it's also a time to express our gratitude. So as I'm going through this time of reflection, expressing gratitude, setting new goals, I want to share a little bit with you what I've been thinking about and what I am going to focus on in 2022, because there are big things to come. So first of all, let me know what your goals are. What are your goals for 2022? What are the things that you want to achieve and especially in terms of your yoga career. Especially in terms of your yoga career. Let me just see if we're coming through okay. Let me see if we're here. Yeah, it's all here. Okay. So what are your goals for 2022? Let me know in the comments. In terms of teaching, in terms of um, things that you want to achieve. Maybe it's building your community. Maybe it's teaching a full class schedule. Maybe it's hosting challenges or courses. What are your goals? What are your goals for 2022? Write in the comments.
In the meantime, I'm going to share with you what I'm grateful for this year. So I'm really grateful for the transformation yoga has given me. And obviously, this transformation has caused me to start teaching yoga. And right now, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I can share this practice with people all over the world. So that's the people that here are with me on Instagram, the people that are here with me on Facebook. I'm very grateful to be part of your communities as well. And grateful for you, because without you, I couldn't be sharing the things that I am. So I couldn't continue sharing the benefits of yoga, but I couldn't continue sharing the teachings of yoga and how these teachings help other people improve their lives as well. And I want you to know that yoga is becoming more and more popular. There are more studios, there are more teachers, there's more people that have gained awareness of this practice and want to start doing it. But yet there are many, many, many people as well, millions of students that still have to discover yoga. And these are people in our communities that live maybe locally, but also people that live a little bit further away from you in places that yoga isn't available. And to reach these people, to reach the people that we know want to practice yoga, but maybe um, don't have anything available close to them, I need you. Because I'm a yoga teacher and I'm also a student. I have multiple teachers myself, such as you, and you'll probably also have multiple students and uh, teachers yourself as well. So to me, it's very important that you keep and if you haven't started, that you start sharing your knowledge, your experience and expertise. Because it's really time for you to show up as a yoga teacher and to help the people that haven't discovered yoga yet get into it. Because you know how, what the benefits are and how it could help improve their lives and how it could help them live a healthier life. So for you to share your knowledge, expertise, and your experience, it's not important to be an expert on a specific aspect within the world of yoga. Because you have your experience of practicing, you have your experience of going through training, and most of you will have a regular practice that comes with experience, lots of new skills and knowledge and things that you can share as well. So it's time for you to let go of the fear of not being good enough or not being skillful enough. Because as teachers, we are here to support each other, to learn from each other and to educate each other but also to work together so that yoga stays accessible to everyone. Like I said before, it's the people in the communities, in our own local communities, but also the people that don't have a yoga studio available close to them and want to practice online with you. For example, there are many, many, many things I can think of when we speak about sharing yoga with the world. So, I want you to let go of the fear and start thinking about what you can share with your people. And this will be something that you're very passionate about. It doesn't have to be uh, just asana. And it doesn't have to be just um, the things that you practice in a yoga class, in a studio or online. It can be anything combined with yoga. So maybe you are passionate about teaching athletes, or maybe you are passionate about teaching yoga to children. There are other things that come with this that don't necessarily fall into the teachings of yoga, but are very easily combined with them. So to make yoga a sustainable career for you, but also give you the ability to start and to, to keep sharing yoga with the world so that other people can enjoy the benefits of this practice. 
you will need to expand your services. And expanding your services can look like a weekly class schedule, but it can also be organizing retreats. It can be organizing workshops and training, but it could also be a course. So if you are willing to develop your skills and to develop your knowledge, and if you see and that you agree with me that your future students or the students that you have already need you, I would like you to think about what you are most passionate about sharing and how you could share this with the world, how you could share this with your students, that the students that you have now or the students that um, are waiting for you that maybe don't know about you yet, but are waiting to work with you. So let me know in the comments, what are the things that you're passionate about? And if you're watching the replay as well, just write it in the comments. I would absolutely love to know what you are passionate about and what you think you could share with the world. The thing is that when we keep teaching yoga classes and we just teach yoga, there's a limit to your career. There's a limit to the people you can reach, the people you can receive, and there's a limit to the things that you share. Because just teaching yoga classes means a full-time schedule in which you need to be present emotionally and mentally, but also physically 24 seven. Because your yoga classes don't stop the moment your yoga class finish in the studio or at home. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it. And there's a lot of um, ways that you need to be present. You will need to update your students to send invoices, to send out a weekly email, or to um, write class packages. Whatever it is that comes with a job as a yoga teacher doesn't finish by finishing your class that day. There's a lot more that goes into it. And by just teaching classes, you don't have the opportunity to take your students on a deeper transformation. And this could be a transformation that entails you to, that entails yoga combined with something else that you're passionate about. But it could also be something within the yogic philosophy or yogic lifestyle. It could be the ethics of yoga, morals of yoga, self-care, whatever it is. Just teaching yoga classes is a great way to start your career. But there are other ways to take off those limitations and to share yoga with even more people. Be very specific in what you share and actually make this a profitable career for you. And maybe even in 2022. Right? So if you are ready to develop and to grow your, your knowledge, to develop your skills, if you're ready to make yoga a sustainable, sustainable career in 2022, I would love to invite you to a workshop bundle that I'm hosting with Manu from Emprendedores de Yoga. And this workshop bundle teaches you how to find the people that you most would love to serve, to become very specific and reach them on social media so that they resonate with you enough to finally sign up for your courses and for your class packages and for everything else that you offer. So the first workshop will be about uh, course creation and you will learn how to find a course topic that helps you really zoom in on the desires and the needs of your students and offer a transformation that they are waiting for. Probably something that they have been trying to do by themselves, but so far haven't been able to achieve. So this course creation workshops, workshop really goes deep into all of the pre-stages towards writing your course all of the things that you need to do while you're writing the course, 
and all of the things that you need to do after writing the course. There's a lot of that, lot of things that goes into this. Then the second workshop is with Manuel, and he's going to teach you how to create visibility so you actually have people to sell your course to, to share yoga with the world and to make yoga a sustainable career for you in 2022. So let me know if you have questions about this. The workshops are on the 16th of December. So in a couple of weeks from now, two weeks from now, if you're watching this live, if you're not watching this live, you're watching the replay, you can uh, check your calendar. It's the 16th of December. And the second workshop is on the 27th of January. So these two workshops really prepare you to set up the foundations of your yoga business and to set up the foundations for writing a course and the ability to actually sell it. Because very often when we have a course idea, we either play with it for such a long time that we postpone it and delay it and end up never doing it. Or we are so enthusiastic that we write the course all at once, start to promote it and there's no one to sign up. So I want to help you. I really want to help you to create a strategy in which you can create a course that you can actually sell afterwards. And to do so, we help you with these workshops. So it's a workshop bundle of two workshops, one about niching and messaging. So this is all about the people that you serve and how to communicate with them in a way that they can find you and you find the right people and attract these right people to your courses. And the other workshop is all about course creation. So your pre-course uh, phase, during the course phase and afterwards so you can sell it. So if this is something that you're interested in, I'm going to link to it in, my, um, in the description of this chat, so on Instagram and on Facebook. If you would like to know more or you have questions, send me a message. And I would absolutely love from you to hear from you what your goals are and what course topics you have in mind so I can personalize the material to you and actually make it very re relatable to where you are at in your course phase uh, writing stage. <laughs> um, let me think, is there anything else that I would like to mention? I think I'm going to leave it here. I think I'm going to leave it very short and simple today. Um, think about this for yourself. Think about what comes to mind for you when you think about making yoga a sustainable career and the opportunities that you have, the things that you can do, whether it be hosting retreats, hosting training workshops, or, excuse me, or courses. And let me know if there's anything I can help you with. So remember, the course bundle, you can find in the link in the description. If you have any questions, you let me know. And I hope to see all of you very, 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 very soon again. Have a great week. And I'll be back with you later. <laughs> see you later, everyone. <laughs>